Yeah, thank you so much. Quickly, I would say that uh, during COP27, there were good discussions and different stakeholders agreed that agriculture was a priority, not only because of the war in Ukraine, but globally because of the rising of prices, of food prices, and that there was also a need to consider uh, agroecology. So for me, the next step should be in working on accountability and implementation. So often we get very good policies agreed among stakeholders, but the implementation lags behind. So we are pushing for different stakeholders, specific society organizations like AFSA, to really work on ensuring that there are internal accountability within states and countries to implement what is agreed. Secondly, we need a robust access to finance. We need to see both philanthropies and even in like the World Bank and other stakeholders to increase budget allocated to agriculture, earmarked to strengthen and support initiatives focusing on agroecology. So this year, COP28 is happening in Dubai, so it is a good opportunity, as I said, to work with media and communication experts to continue sharing evidence about why it is important to promote agroecology in Africa and more importantly, showcasing. I understand that AFSA has been working on case studies to bring evidence from those case, case studies and share them with different stakeholders so that they can actually see in action what they are advocating for and, and work in partnership with other civil society organizations.